Taking question number 2 of exercise 8.1 from the chapter application of integrals. The question is find the area of the region bounded by y square is equal to 9x, x is equal to 2, x is equal to 4 and the x axis in the first quadrant. Right? Okay. Now to calculate the required area. Firstly we shall sketch the area required to be calculated. So this is the most important step of the question and if you get this right probably you are going to get the question right okay now if you know y square is equal to 9x then you can just represent a rough sketch of y square is equal to 9x and fulfill the required condition to get the required area and you can calculate it and if you don't know y square is equal to 9x or if you don't have the knowledge about y square is equal to 9x then the few things which you can always note about this this parabola y square is equal to 9x is this that it is a standard form of the parabola y square is equal to 4ax okay right now when you consider the standard form of the parabola y square is equal to 4ax then following things always get connected okay Firstly, this curve is going to pass through origin because it doesn't contain any constant term, right? It is symmetric about x-axis because it contains the term of y square. Therefore, it is going to be symmetric about x-axis. And the curve is about positive x-axis. Okay, so we are going to draw this curve on the uh, along the positive x-axis. Okay, so we can draw the parabola like this we have marked this coordinate axis okay and the sketch of the curve y square is equal to 4ax is somewhat like this okay and because y square is equal to 4ax is a very similar form of y square is equal to 9x so we can consider this y square is equal to 4ax as y square is equal to 9x where 4a would be equal to 9 okay okay so now we can consider this curve y square is equal to 9x right further we have been given we have to calculate the area bounded by the lines x is equal to 2 x is equal to 4 and the x axis in the first quadrant this means that whatever area we are going to get in the first quadrant we have to calculate first of all now talking about this line x is equal to 2 so if we have to draw a line x is equal to 2 it will be drawn parallel to y axis it will be at a distance 2 from the origin so this distance along axis x axis would be equal to 2 and uh, this point will have the coordinate and this point will have the coordinate as 2 comma 0 and similarly we can draw the an another line x is equal to 4 it's it will be at a distance of uh, 4 units from the origin and its coordinates would be equal to uh, 4 0 so i can mark this as b having the coordinates 4 comma 0 okay I can mark this point as C, this point as D. Okay, so the required area is A, B, C, D, A. This area, this region, I can shade it like this. So this region is required to be calculated. Okay, now if we have to calculate the area using integrations, then first of all what we do, we divide the given area into the strips. So in this case, because the curve is taken along x-axis, so we are going to divide it into the strips perpendicular to x-axis, each having the thickness equal to dx. Okay, so first of all, I divide this area into these vertical strips. These strips are very, very thin. They are very infinite, decimally small. Okay, you must be knowing. So I divide into the I divide this uh, this area into this vertical strips. Now, for the sake of convenience, I am going to take a, a strip like this. There is a strip I have taken. Its thickness is dx. So, because the strip is taken from x-axis to the point on the curve, so it's just it, this length would be equal to y. The thickness is of no importance because the the thickness of the strip is very very less. It is infinite decimally small. Okay. Now, therefore, we can consider this strip as a rectangle. Okay. And you know the area of the rectangle is equal to length into breadth. So, area of the 
of any vertical strip can be written as equal to y dx okay and because y square is equal to 3x i can write y as equal to 3 into root x so i get the area of one strip as 3 into root x dx okay so area of one strip is calculated because i require all the strips from this point a to b so i'm going to integrate this value from the point from the for, from the value of x from 2 to 4 okay so therefore the required area would be equal to integration of 3 root x dx from the limit 2 to 4 okay so this can be written as this x as written as x to the power of 1 by 2 okay on integrating this x to the power of 1 by 2 i get x to the power of 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 this 3 as it is and the limits 2 to 4 okay further this 3 upon 2 is written as 2 upon 3 this 3 as it is x to the power of 3 by 2 is written as 4 to the power of 3 by 2 which is going to become 8 this is written as 2 to the power of 3 by 2 which can be written as 2 root 2 so this is equal to 2 into 8 minus 2 root 2 or 16 minus 4 root 2 square units which is the required answer so in this way i'm going to solve this question friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you